Good morning, good morning, good morning. I was in our group and I think there's a little clarity needed on the prompt for yesterday, January 9th. The prompt was to take three pieces of paper, small pieces, that's the key, um, and only spend five minutes on each one and then post all three. I've done this exercise. I think I've done it twice. It's hard to do it a second and third time because you know what to expect and that kind of changes the outcome. But the idea behind this is for you to see that you can go from, I don't have a flipping clue what to put on here, to, oh, this isn't so bad. Look at this one. Okay, so right now I have no preconceived notions as to what I'm gonna put on these three pieces of paper, but I do know that as I progress from one to the other, I'm already going to have the knowledge of the one before it carrying me into the next one. So I'm not a drawer, trust me. <laughs> but if I draw something or paint something, I'll be able to do it better the second time because I'll already know what to expect goes where. Okay? So I'm not in my regular studio. And I only have my phone, but I felt like I had to do this. So I'm going to try and find a way to situate the phone so that you can see me um, working, we'll call it. I'm not going to call it drawing. <laughs> but um, I have a variety of things out. I have some pearlescent watercolors. I've got some Tombow markers, a few Poscas, because most of my Poscas are at the studio and um, a set of regular watercolors and to make it go quicker I have water brushes and if you don't have a water brush or haven't seen them they're awesome um, I also have many other things within reach I have oh boy a silver sharpie um, a pencil which I probably won't use but that's all I have nearby Oh, I have a white gel pen, a black Sharpie, and a pencil over there. So, um, so that's all I've got to work with. And like I said, I have no idea. I'm, I'm not even wanting to try and get an idea of what to draw. I just want to, I want to brain dump. And when I brain dump, it's usually pretty abstract. So, um, but I'll try and draw something because I, I know that you guys like to draw things. <laughs> And I'm, I'm just not a drawer. I'll warn you right now. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay? But that's another whole idea is that we can post things in this group without judging and without feeling like we're going to be judged. Okay? So I don't want you to post just your best. You're, you're supposed to post all three of them, and I will post all three of mine. Um, but I'm going to end this video and then try and figure out how to position the camera. Or maybe I'll just pause it. I'll just pause it. Hold on. Okay, I just found out that you cannot turn the camera around while you're already in a video. So this is the best I can do as a side view of this work area. And I don't know how much that will show. But um, if it doesn't show enough, I may just chop that off. And if you don't see something, then that will be why. But then I will post all three results when I'm done. So the only way I can start a timer, since I'm using my phone for video, is I have an Alexa device. And I will have her do it, and that way we can hear the tone. Okay, I'm gonna move two of these over. I have one ready, don't even know what I'm gonna start with. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Cool beans. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's nerve-wracking. Okay, I will pick up a pencil, and I don't know why. Um, 
I draw birds, funky birds, funky birds. Um, so I'm gonna start with with an easy one. And that's probably not fair. Oh, well, and now see he's too close to the edge. See, I've already learned one thing, and I think I wanted to have him like eating a worm. I know that's kind of gross. I have another painting of uh, a worm behind a bird. I don't have an eraser. Shoot. Oh, here's one. I don't know if it's the right kind. Yuck. It's not. It's hard to erase on watercolor paper anyway. All right, let's see. We got some eyeballs. And we've got a wing. And uh, this is like way too big because it's taking up the whole paper. And um, water brush. Let's see. Ah, should have opened it before. That's okay. See, and my paints were not um, wet, so I will have an advantage on the second one because my paints will be wet and ready. So you always get better. And I'm sort of taking my time on this one, and it's amazing how fast five minutes goes. So most likely, what I kind of remember learning, whoops, from the last time I did this, is that I take too long <laughs> with some of the details. And you kind of learn certain ones that you can hurry up with down there. And it's also a little nerve wracking not being able to see the timer since it's not on my phone and she up there is the one holding the minutes. <laughs> All right, let's get this one a little wet. Yeah. All right, um, my rag. I have paper towels. This is how you clean out a water brush. You squeeze the water out of it until the water runs clear. No time for a demo. Let's get some brown, just a little bit. I wanted to give him a face, so I gotta have time for it to dry. Okay. And we have a beak. Hear the pitter patter of my little doggy's feet, and he's probably wondered why I shut the door. And he'll push it open. Okay. Now this little bird is just kind of hanging out in nowhere. Whoops. Sometimes I forget, you're not supposed to do that. Now I got purple. Okay, um, branch. Let's see. So I guess he took this worm up to his tree home. Ooh, time. Okay, see, pencil's down. Alexa, stop the alarm. So on the back, I'm gonna label this number one. 
Okay, and there it is. I kind of like how the watercolor is dark on one side of that tree. All right, let's set that aside and um, clean out this brush. <laughs> okay, number two. Alexa, start an alarm up for five minutes. Alarm. Five minutes, starting now. She knew what I meant. Okay. Um, Alexa, did you start an alarm? There's no alarm set. Alexa, start a timer for five minutes. Second timer, five minutes. Starting she did already start it. Do you want to name this timer? No. Do I want to name the timer? No. All right, let's see. Um, that one was kind of like all bird. So I think this time I'm just going to not draw the bird. Well, that usually doesn't work out well. All right, I'll draw the bird. Let's see. I'm going to leave room this time for two birds. Oh, I know what I'll do. I did a postcard recently. Mm, yeah, I'd have to start it different. Well, maybe not. Okay, let's do the eyes. at least got room for legs. The other one I made it too big and poor thing hardly got any legs. These are the long-legged birds off my calendar and um, I had a picture in there. Oh they need beaks. Um, I think it was called Birds in a City Garden. So, you can't draw the buildings, you have to paint them. So I'm going to paint the bird, well, probably should have painted the buildings first. Well, I'm going to finish this bird anyway. So use orange. I've got it on the brush. Okay, where's my there it is? I don't want orange anymore. I'll go with let's see, red. Or really light red, which looks like a shadowy pink. Why is that so light? I don't know, but it's far away, so it kind of works. Should have made that a ah, light brown.
system is so dark. Pencils down. <laughs> wow. Alexa, cancel timer. Okay, that's sad. <laughs> I got carried away with the buildings. Okay, so Alexa, cancel timer. Alexa, is there a timer set? Okay, so what I learned on this one is don't get carried away in the details of something that should have been put down first if you want it in the background. So next time, and I didn't even get the second bird painted. All right, I got it. I got it this time. Okay. Let me clean this out. That's only fair. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. All right, I'm putting water in all, well, I ran out of water in that brush. Putting water in all my colors so they all get juicy and ready. If you have a spray bottle, that works even better. I just don't have one handy. Okay, so I'm gonna take lighter colors, uh, light shades of dark colors, because I'm putting buildings in the background. And I don't want them to be dark. That brings them to the foreground. Okay, so I'm putting a lot of water out in the tray, and then a little bit of paint. All right, and here's blue. And we'll make some of them wide buildings, some of them tall buildings, and they're just boxes. Here's an orangey one. And they can't all, I want to have some that are like behind. Like this one. Here's a tall one sticking up behind that one even. So it's even lighter in color. Okay, um, that purple was kind of nice. So we'll put another one over here. And in doing these really light, they will dry quickly. Um, I needed that brown. I think that's brown. Oh no, it wasn't. Well, it is now. All right, we'll just make it go like this. Plus, by doing them light and letting them dry quickly, they don't tend to run together as much. Okay. And in this case, you don't really want them to. All right, there's the buildings. Not bad. Now the birds. All right, I'm not going to trust the, the paints to not run together. Hmm, do I want that? No, I want blue. Ugh. Oh, yeah, and I probably should have put... Oh, great, these are brand new. I probably should have put a two on the back of this other one. Not that we have any doubt. Come on. There we go. All right, so mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's start with the up. Yeah, Puskas aren't crazy about going over wet paint. Oh well, too bad, so sad.
other one's going because I want to use it too. Great. Nothing like starting out a new Pasca. Okay. Another bird over here. Make the eye first this time. Um, this goes like this. He doesn't have. Okay. Cover up some of the building stuff. Ooh, better give him beaks. How about one of these? Probably a mistake because Tombos are water soluble. <laughs> but I made them not touch buildings so they wouldn't merge. Okay, I'm going to put some of this one on this bird and some of this one on that bird. Yeah. I got more done. Alexa, cancel timer. I would have liked to have been able to go back. That was a fast five minutes. I would have liked to gone back and um, put some white gel pen on the buildings for windows. But at least I got all the buildings in and I got two birds and one has feet, one has leg warmers on. They both have eyes and wings and tails and beaks. <laughs> so you see, that's the point, is that you learn from the other one. You already know that you want to do the buildings lighter because in this one, they're too dark and they look as, as pushed to the forefront as the bird because they're the same value. So you learn things. That's the whole idea. And so I'm going to post all three of these, and I'll label them on the front, or maybe under them. Maybe I don't want to write on them. But um, as ugly as this blue bird is, <laughs> he's at least more complete than the others. So that's the lesson to get out of this. Um, this turned out to be 23 minutes. But I did a good bit of talking in the beginning. So thanks for sticking with it through the end if you watch the whole thing. And um, I hope you tried this. You, you know, even if you don't post the pictures. But I really wish you would just to show others what you learned through the progression of using the same five minutes on each one. And you will learn. You will. I promise you. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. See you Monday. No, Monday. Friday. I don't know. See you later.